Jeff Keenan here in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. Now I just got Tesla update 2024.44.25.2 or the Tesla holiday update. Now this is a big one. It rolls up a lot of the new updates that people have been waiting years for, including full functionality of the Apple Watch app. And it'll add your Apple Watch as a key so you won't need to have your phone or Tesla app open. So you can just walk up to the vehicle and it'll unlock just as you're using phone as key. And you can view state of charge, unlock the vehicle, start your climate, and the favorite thing I use it for is to open the frunk. And this update finally gives you the ability to view your Sentry Cam clips from the mobile app and then download them to your phone. It's been working really smooth and fast, and it brings you right to the event when you view the clip. And you can select the different cameras for each event and it'll bring you right to the event on that camera's view. This is a really nice update. It makes the Sentry Cam way more usable. You don't have to go into your car or come back to your car and see the clips then. And it finally adds a Sirius XM streaming app to the Model 3 and Y. There's no satellite receiver hardware in the Model 3 and Y. So this is a streaming over your LTE connection, but it works smoothly and it sounds good. But Sirius is always tricky to deal with. Unfortunately, if you already have a Sirius streaming account for $9.99 a month, you can't just add the Tesla to it or sign in from the Tesla's UI. The Tesla has a radio ID like it had if it had a physical satellite receiver, but it's just streaming Sirius XM like it is everything else. So I had an existing Sirius XM account and I had to cancel that one and sign up using a different email address to get the free 30 days and then the $9.99 a month subscription. Now this still lets you stream Sirius XM to all your other devices, to your phone, to your Alexa devices, um, and you can still use it in your cars with Apple CarPlay. Just don't forget to cancel that subscription after two years because then the price doubles. They added the ability to set the arrival energy in the planner. Now this is important if, let's say, you're on a long road trip and you're going to stop at a hotel, but you're not sure how far away the next DC fast charger is. I like to come into a hotel with at least 40%, even if they have level two chargers, in case they don't work, I have enough power for the next day. He added the ability to search along your route. So let's say you're on a road trip and you want to look for restaurants. It'll tell you what the added time is for each one. They added a weather map to the navigation. This is a really cool feature I don't think anyone was expecting. It's a live weather app and you can also use the weather pop-up to see your weather at destination. Added a rear cross traffic alert. This is something Tesla has been lacking for a while. It's nice that they implemented it, but I'd like to see an alert sound also that just grabs your attention. If you're looking in your rear view mirror while backing up, this wouldn't be helpful. Tesla updated the TuneIn app and you can still sign in with your free TuneIn account and see all your stations. Tesla added the ability to schedule a light show right from the Tesla app. This is really cool before you had to do it inside the car. And you can still pick your custom light shows from the dropdown. And if you have a new Model 3 Highlander Cybertruck, it actually uses the RGB lighting inside the vehicle and looks really cool. Some of these light shows will open the trunk and the charge port. And I noticed that on the Highland, the, the lower marker lights actually light up RGB also, which is pretty cool. They added the ability to control the theater playback on the rear screen using the front screen. Now you can control the passenger seat from the front screen as well as the back, as long as it's unoccupied. There's a few other minor updates. One I really like is that it'll lower the audio volume when you're in reverse. This allows you to concentrate on backing up. So there you go. This Tesla holiday update adds some awesome features. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Sirius XM integration. Just be careful to not create extra subscriptions. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.